I haven't asked a lot about this recently and I thought it would be a good time to cover it. If you guys want to know how to make icons in your RPG game, then you guys come to the right place. This video is going to cover how to do that. With a little with a few methods of my own I've, that I've managed that have helped me um, put icons in the game and not weird text. So that being said, let's get right into the video. So let's start off with the first and probably most easiest way to make an icon. Um, so basically what you want to do, so let's go ahead, so let's, uh, so I'm probably going to be asked how I got the dark heart icon. Basically, uh, what, what, an option I did was I searched up dark heart on the decals, and it shows up with this stuff, honestly, like dark heart aluminum. And then what I did was I went, I uh, added a part here, um, then I made a D, did I paste, I put a decal on here, um, like this, just press one of these, put it, make sure you have the part selected. Put that there, and you pretty much have your dark heart sword. Copy that, copy the icon numbers, go into the world itself, or go into the dark heart itself, and what we're gonna do is copy this, and voila, you pretty much have the icon ID right here, and it should work regardless. So, yeah, I already have the dark heart icon ID in here, but, um, yeah, so, and then why then how I would do it was is just play and it should show up regardless if yeah so I replaced it with another dark I got the dark card icon it still came up even if I changed the numbers so yeah there you go um that's pretty much how you do it with decals another option you could do is basically grab the icon the the basically grab if it's like a Roblox gear for example um get a dark card get like the dark card thing right here and like um. Copy the ID here, in the copy the ID here in tool, um, and delete that. Then go into the dark car and paste it again. And it should be the same one. If not, then I probably might be wrong. But I, mean, I don't know. Um, and I am wrong. Okay, shock. Okay, that's that's okay. Um, that came out of nowhere. Um, we actually go to decals and actually get the part itself that actually has it. Uh, it doesn't seem to work, okay. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, one second while I grab this. Um, I think this was the one most likely. Um, there it is. Alright, here's a dark card icon that I got. That I got from last time. So copy this. And delete the dark card in this, dark, in this part right here. And paste it into here. And you print up the dark card icon. In regards, it should work if I'm correct. Now, if I play it, uh, the dark card icon appears again. So that's nice. Now we're gonna go and do one. So let's print two ways on how to add icons. Basically, go for the decal, or I'll go for go if it's like Warbox gear, or something like that. Grab it from the icon itself and uh, all that stuff. Now, next part is kind of a more of an interesting one. And I kind of want to go over my smell, so that probably gonna be asked about it. What if I have a custom sword that doesn't have an icon, like something I made myself or something like that? Well, I'm probably going to show you guys how to do just that as well. Um, so, we're going to go, and what we're going to do is go into our base plate um, for this. Alright, so in the base plate, go ahead and add a part, which I just did. Um, you, are, you probably know how to make a, ba a base plate area, if you have. But basically what I did was I moved this over here. And I basically made this green. Uh, just that, you, you'll see what I'm going to do. But basically what I'm going to do now is uh, copy the, the sand staff and give it its own, its own icon. So what I usually do is just I paste the icon, I paste them the the thing here, uh, grab it this um, grab it, grab the icon, grab its like you know um, tool. Um, then what I usually then if I am using twenty thousand twenty two materials, if I'm not using if I'm using classic materials, I'll just turn this off just to make it look just make it more relevant, and I like some type of copy pasta and make it look less weird. And then what I would usually do is like, okay, maybe I scale it. I don't scale it, but um, basically something like that. And uh, then what I would do is go into um, this screen. Um, what would you do? Screenshot it. I think there's a way to screenshot. It. I did. I just made it myself because I'm tired of the new world UI. It kind of sucks. No offense, but uh, yeah. Anyways, I think how do you how do you even uh how do you I mean, how do you even like screenshot? I don't even know. Give me one second, real quick. Uh, Okay, so basically I wasn't going to find out how to do that, but um, basically what I did was just I added a new tab here, and I added tools, and I pressed and I switched up screenshot right here. That's pretty much how I got the screenshot icon to show up here. 
So it, it, it's really weird, but um, if you're using a new UI, um, then that's pretty much how I did it. But yeah, anyways, go ahead and take a screenshot of this, and then we're gonna move to, and then grab some kind of, um, I don't know. Like, let's go, and then we're gonna go into, we're not gonna go to, into a, um, into a base folder, uh, not a base folder. We're gonna go into a photo software, and uh, we'll show you how to um, change, make it um, look better. So for this example, I'm gonna be using Photopea as it's kind of free, and it's pretty much free for everyone, so if you guys wanna use it, feel free to. But yeah. Anyways, what we're gonna do is make a new project, and we're gonna make it have like uh, what's here. Uh, we'll go. We'll do. I think I'm, I'm probably kind of want to do like a 500 by 500, maybe if I can find it. Maybe uh, let's see here. It is a 500 by 500. That'd be that'd be, that'd be amazing. But uh, um, yeah. Okay. Maybe actually, maybe say I'll just do like uh, yeah. Let's do 500 by 500 and we'll go from there hopefully and then what we do is create it and then what we're gonna do is do call we're gonna delete this and oh um okay but basically what we want to do is do this um put and then we can just move this up in here and all that stuff basically what we're gonna do is move this so that it fits the if it's the screen and then what we're gonna do is basically move the Basically, what I'm gonna plan, what I kind of want, want to do is uh, remove the what the hell? Hey guys, I'll, uh, give me a second. Sorry about that. Um, uh, looks like someone's making work us here. But found my girlfriend was just trying to find something. Anyways, um, basically what you want to do is select this thing, and I guess uh, then what I would, what I do next is like select it. It's basically select it and like inverse it and delete it. And what I'll do then, uh, let me rateize layer real quick. Uh, I guess one. I need. Okay, there you go. And then what I would do next is basically make it a little bit more cooler, I guess, and that's pretty much how I make my icons. Um, I know it's kind of, I know I'm probably going a little bit too fast for y'all, but if I am, you guys can always go back and all that stuff, but yeah. And then what I can do, and then what I would do is save it to um, export as PNG and save it there. So uh, we'll just call this Sand Staff Tutorial, um, and then we'll save it. And it's saved, so hallelujah. That's nice, cool. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, you guys didn't see that. All right, uh, moving on. Upload the decal, um, upload the decal, upload the image to as a decal in Roblox. So basically what I'll do is go to upload. Um, you won't be able to see this, so a um, good thing because I um, might have some stuff on here that uh, rather not be leaked. Um, that's just how we are. I mean, we all have our own things we gotta do. So yeah, uh, personal stuff, you know. Anyways, um, so now I got this, got the sand staff tutorial. What I'm gonna do is upload it there. And then what we should get. Okay, so now that you got that on, um, now you got that uploaded. What you want to do now is go to go to the sand stats tutorial you thought you were looking for, copy the ID, and then what you want to do is get a, go into the part and get a decal, and just to make sure we're on the right path, we're on the right path. Um, or maybe not. Uh, yeah, I think I might need to fix it real quick. Give me a second, y'all. Um, something's going. On. Okay, I'm not sure what the hell that was all about, but I was able to finally get it working. Yeah, that is just really weird, honestly. You, Roblox has been acting really weird recently. But anyways, now we got that over with. Basically, what we got now is uh, so basically what we want to do is this is basically the decal that we can work with. Copy the ID here. Oh my god. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyways, what we want to do now is go into de get the decal and copy the ID numbers. Then let's go and get the sand staff thing right here. Um, let's paste that in here and paste the numbers in here. And would you look at that? It should work. So if we delete the part and play the game, the sand staff should show up if I'm correct. And just like that, the sand staff shows up. Oh boy. Okay, that's actually nice. That looks sick. Okay, but yeah, that's basically how you make icons. Um, it's kind of a bit of a rundown series. It's a bit, it's a bit of a rundown, um, rundown tutorial. Um, doesn't really go much into detail like effects and stuff. It's just get a green screen. Open up Photo P and um, you know add icons to it and, and like remove the green screen and save it to as a photo and PNG and all that fun stuff. So yeah, uh, that's really all you. That's really all there is really to make it fun and to make an icons. Honestly, um, the rest is up to you. Honestly, you can make it like you can add like cool effects with it and stuff. Um, I do have one thing. I one thing I do 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 when I'm making um, to re to reduce my risk to reduce my use of icons. Is I have um, I use icon colors too. So basically, like if I had like a blue, like a red version of a dark card, I would make it. I'll make the icon color red. 
Um, it's kind of an interesting idea, um, but I'm definitely, I'm probably will go, I'm, if I, if people do want to see a video on that, I'll definitely will be in a more advanced type tutorial, but I know a lot of people, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would want to see it, I can tell you that much, but I'm just, uh, I kind of just got a lot going on right now, but if I have time, I definitely will look into it, but yeah, that's pretty much how you make icons, honestly, just right, so, yeah, pretty simple, but, uh, at the end of the day, um, a lot of people have been asking me about this, and that's really about it, though. Those are three options, so, in conclusion, um, go, you can either go find some on the, on Toolbox, or you can find some on the Roblox Gears, or you can make your own, like, Sand Staff, we just did a few days, a few uh, minutes ago. So, yeah, that's really about it for this video, guys, and doing thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bells on the channel, but you also not miss this video. And, yeah, there's really nothing else I really much to say about it other than, um, sorry for the delays in videos, I really do apologize about that, but, um, hey, I mean, what'd you expect? Things just been getting busy, um. Kind of just want to do, kind of doing, doing development on my own terms, and um, yeah, and doing development on my own terms makes me kind of, it kind of, um, it kind of like, it teaches me more about development and how I can, uh, how I can get, how I can to show other people how to do it too in some ways. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this beginning. Now have a good one as always.